So today I thought that I would do my updated kind of makeup routine that I've been doing most days when I just want to feel put together and like a real human. And I have a lot of new favorite products. I've been testing out a lot of different makeup, I'm trying to branch out. These are the products that I've been loving recently. Also, something that I've been doing before I do my makeup, after I do my skincare routine in the morning, is this. And I might butcher the pronunciation so i'm so sorry in advance but gua sha this has been something that i've been loving recently i don't know whether it really does anything but i think what it's supposed to do is kind of like depuff your face i think it's kind of like a lymphatic drainage for your face but what i love it for is if i'm just kind of feeling puffy or honestly if i'm just in need of something kind of soothing and comforting it really holds temperature so when it's cold it feels really nice and refreshing on your face it's honestly more than anything just a very relaxing and it's kind of just like a face massage so i was going to show you guys how i normally use my gua sha i am not a professional in any way i think i watched like one tutorial on somebody doing it and that's the way i do it now so don't take my word for it but this is how i use it so first i start by taking this edge here the curved edge and i go up on my neck and you want to have a firm touch but also be gentle because it is your skin and what i heard is that if you wiggle a little bit at the end it's just supposed to i don't know activate your lymph nodes or something and i usually just go over about five times next i take this little indentation right here and it kind of fits perfectly and you just go on your jawline here and again i just go five times on each area then i take the curved edge again from about here like my smile line all the way up to here then i go slightly higher a little bit on the cheekbone up to here and because you're near your eye area you want to be really really gentle right here then i do the forehead which is really nice because i feel like i hold a lot of tension up here and here i just go up then I repeat the same thing that I did on this side, on this side. Then I like to pay kind of special attention to right in between my eyebrows because I hold a lot of tension right there. You can just take any part of it. it just feels really nice. And then at the end, I finish by going down the neck. And yeah, that is my gua sha routine. Now on to makeup. So I'm starting off my face with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I actually got this as a sample from Sephora and I loved it so much that I actually ordered it. So I guess the sample marketing is uh, really working. And then I just apply this everywhere. I find that this really has a nice sticky kind of tacky consistency and so whatever concealer or foundation I put on really holds onto my face. Next I go in with my Monica blender blender cover all-in-one concealer slash foundation monica blender is a makeup artist that i follow on instagram and she does amazing makeup i just think she's so talented and when i saw that she came out with her own brand of makeup i was like i've got to try it she also sells a face brush that you can use with this cream so this is definitely a bit more full coverage than i normally would go for but i'm filming an audition today so I want a little bit more coverage. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my finger just into the pot and just individually cover up some blemishes that need a little bit more attention. Next, I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Cream in Work. I also like to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Now I'm gonna take my Holy Grail Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Warmth. I really like this bronzer. It's a nice matte bronzer so i think it looks really natural next i'm going in with a classic becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop i am embarrassed to show the container because like this she's in a rough condition i'm still using her no, she's not going to waste but i just have to be very delicate when i'm putting my brush in there but she's worth it 
and then right on the nose feel better soon friend so now that we have the face all done i actually like to go back in because the foundation covers up all of my little beauty marks moles whatever you want to call them and i actually really like them so i go back in with just a brown either eyebrow pencil or eyeliner and just kind of redefine them this is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. It is such a gorgeous palette. I feel like it's all the essential colors that you need to have in your makeup collection. And I personally love that they're all matte because they look super natural on the eye. They're great for every day, but they're also buildable. So if you want a more dramatic look, you can totally make that happen. He also makes some great brushes. So I picked up this fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is the EF2. So I'm gonna start with this and this. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade. Finally, I'm gonna go in with this really pretty kind of chestnut shade. Next, I'm taking the Makeup by Mario little tiny eyeshadow brush. This is the E5. First, I'm gonna take that first sort of sand shade and we're gonna go under the eye with this. Now we're gonna go in with the same shade we used on the lid, the chestnut shade. We're gonna go under the eye with this as well, kind of sticking to the outer corner. Next, I'm taking the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes in Smoky Brown. And I'm just gonna line my eye starting pretty much in the center and then going outward. Then I'm taking the little blending side of the eyeliner and just kind of softening this line because I don't want it to be too dramatic. And then I'm just gonna take this a little bit under the eye as well mostly on the outer corner and then same thing I'm just gonna kind of smudge it out soften the edges now I'm moving on to mascara so I'm just gonna take my eyelash curler and curl my lashes now I'm taking my favorite mascara at the moment I cannot say enough good things about this this is the Ilia limitless lash mascara it does a great job of lengthening and giving volume to the lashes with no clumps and then I hit my bottom lashes now for brows, normally I would be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, but I'm out of it. So I'm using the Anastasia powder. I haven't been liking to fill my eyebrows in too much, so I try to keep it really light. And then I like to take my Glossier Boy Brow. This is less for color than just kind of pushing them up. Lastly, for lip, I've been using the Bare Minerals Lipstick in Honesty as my base. And then I go in with the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in Tahiti. And that is the final look. So the other thing that I've been wanting to do is trim my bangs a little bit more. So as you guys have probably noticed, I kind of cut some shorter pieces in the front here at home, quarantine style. So I've been kind of playing around with cutting my own hair and it's been really fun and it's a little addictive. These kind of front pieces grow out really fast. So I just want to cut them a little bit shorter. My hair is actually really dirty. I need to wash it today. So please ignore that. Yeah. Let's cut some hair. Let's go a little shorter. I don't even know what my technique is. I don't even think I have a technique. Cute. Okay. Every time I trim my bangs, I'm like, I am a certified hairstylist. Then you have to hype yourself up in between. <laughs> a little bit shorter. The thing is, I kind of want Bridgerton bangs. These seem a lot more even on both sides now. I think I'm gonna stop there for now. I do think that I will just keep cutting them a little bit shorter each time because Fun. It's thrilling. It's it's just a good time. Gets your adrenaline pumping. Now I'm gonna do some nail painting. 
first I'm gonna start off by buffing my nails. This really helps the polish stick to your nails. So if you're looking for ways to help your manicure last longer, highly recommend always buffing your nails first. Testing out a glass file that you might be seeing on G Polish soon. Glass files are amazing because they're really sustainable and good for the environment. And they're also just super high quality and really nice to file your nails with. Now I'm applying our G Polish base coat. Now I'm going in with two coats of G Polish in Latte. This is our perfect nude shade. It's just a gorgeous beige color, just gorgeous neutral. It literally looks like coffee with a bunch of milk in it, hence the name, Latte. <laughs> Now to finish it off, I'm gonna go in with our G Polish top coat. This gives it a really nice glossy finish and locks in your manicure. Nails are looking so cute. Now for an outfit. I love this sweater. My mom got it for me for Christmas from Lisa Says Ga and I'm just in love with all the colors. It's so colorful, it just makes me happy. Next up, some vintage light wash Levi's. And then to finish off the look, I got these really cute loafers from J. Crew. I just think they're really cute and preppy. As much as I love watching YouTube videos for distraction and escapism from all the craziness that's going on in the world right now, I also wanna use my platform as a way to spread awareness about important issues. So I just wanna take a moment to spread some COVID-19 awareness. The country is on pace for more than 500,000 deaths by the end of February, not to mention the countless economic and social justice impacts on countless people. According to the CDC, the five Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine was 95% effective and the Moderna vaccine was 94.1% effective. Yet only 49% of Americans say that they'll take the vaccine as soon as it's available to them. I am personally really looking forward to taking the vaccine. I cannot wait to get back to life and protect my health as well as the safety of my friends, family, loved ones, and community. But before we can all be vaccinated, we have to still stay cautious. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, but as you guys are aware, COVID-19 spreads from person to person. It mainly spreads between people who are in close contact with one another within six feet through respiratory droplets when a person who's infected coughs, sneezes, or talks. This is why it's so important to stay six feet apart, socially distance, only interact with people who are in your household, in your pod, and wash your hands. Of course, most of importantly, you have to mask up. It is so important to wear your mask when you're out in public. The CDC is actually recommending that people wear two masks now, one surgical mask and one cloth mask. We are so close to the end, so I just want to encourage all of you to stay safe, wear a mask, get tested often, and we're gonna make it through this together. Sending so much love, health, and happiness your way and thank you guys so much for getting ready with me today have a beautiful day